everyone and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to be creating a quick and easy card using the watercolor wing set and the matching bold butterfly framelits. We're also going to be featuring the colors mint macaron, or macaron, not quite sure how to say that, and island indigo. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of mint macaron. We're going to score it at four and a quarter. Use our bone folder to get a nice sharp crease. Then we're going to take a panel of Island Indigo. Use our fast fuse. Check marks. Adhere that to our base card. And we're going to set that aside. Next we're going to take a panel of Whisper White. And we're going to take Mint Macaroon. We're going to take the little splotches. That's out of the Awesomely Artistic set. I just like the little paint splatters on that. We're going to ink this up. Very tippy tippy taps in those foam pads. And we're just going to randomly place these around here. Do not think about it. People always tend to overthink it. Just slam them right on there. We're going to leave some open space over here where our butterfly is going to go. Go up and around a little bit. You can even to give a little more contrast, stamp off. Now we're going to clean that. Oops. Make sure that's on there. Good. Okay. Now we're going to take our Island Indigo and we're going to do the exact same thing. Just stamp right over the top of that. Don't think, just stamp. Very random pattern. That's the whole key to this, is random. Okay. I'm going to set that aside. And this is going to get mounted right onto our card. Okay. Then we're going to thank, take thanks for being you. That is out of the Sweet Saying set. We're going to use our Island Indigo. Again, tippy tippy taps, nothing too hard. You don't want to squish in that pad. We're just going to stamp thanks for being you at the bottom. And we'll set that whole thing right aside. Now we're going to work on our butterfly. We're going to use this. This is three steps that we're going to do. We're going to take the first butterfly stamp. This is the more solid one. And we're going to use our mint macaroon, which is our lightest color. We're going to build up from the back to the front. We're going to ink that up and we're going to stamp off. I wanted this a little bit lighter. So we're going to stamp that off and we're going to stamp right onto here. So we have a nice light coating of the mint macaroon. Now we're going to take the second one, which is the outer part of the butterfly. We're going to use the mint macaroon again, except I'm going to use this one full strength. And with the photopolymer stamps, it's very easy to line it right up over the top. And there we have the outer part of our butterfly. Now for the inner portion, which is the inner part and the two little, little circles that are around the outside, I'm going to use the Island Indigo. Once again, tippy tippy taps. And then this is going to go right over the top of that. And there you go. Very easy. Now we're going to take our butterfly body and use the Island Indigo and we're going to stamp that right in the middle. And now we're going to take the framelits, which is from the Bold Butterfly, and that's going to go right over the top. And we're going to run that through the Big Shot. Oops, to save a little time, I've already done that. And there's my butterfly. Now I like some bling on this, so we're going to take some of the big rhinestones and we're just going to slide that off and put that right there. Take this one, do the same 
And we're going to do that at the bottom as well. Actually, yeah, yeah, I'm going to use this one. Whoops. Trying to be professional here and using my little scissors, but it's not doing so well. So we're just going to peel that little baby right off and put those right on there. Now, when you get your rhinestones, there's little strips that are connected. So I'm going to use one of the little strips. I cut it down to it had eight little rhinestones, and it just peels up in one strip. And that is getting put right on top oops, of my butterfly to give them a little bit of bling. Now take my dimensionals. Oops, I'm moving everything around here. So sorry. Put some dimensionals on the back. Peel that off. And put it right on the card. And there you go, quick and easy. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. For a list of the products used and card dimensions, please click the link in the video description. Be sure to visit my website, stamptoyoudrop.com, for more ideas. I can also be found on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Thank you for watching, and happy stamping.